Hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, I've been gone for quite some time and it's always a hurdle to get back into the rhythm of making YouTube videos. But here I am. As some of you may have known, like if you follow me on Instagram, I was away on a trip from mid-April to mid-May. I visited Berlin, Hamburg, Münster, Jerez de la Frontera, Cadiz, southern Portugal, and Lisbon. And it was a great trip. I always like visiting new places, meeting old friends, making new friends, unwinding, sometimes being alone by myself, and of course, documenting everything on camera. But maybe you're wondering, mid-May, Bon, you've been back for about a month and still no YouTube content? <laughs> I know, sorry. I haven't had the time to make a proper YouTube video because I have, or am having, depending on when you're watching this video, a photo exhibit. As soon as I got back, I created, printed, and framed about 16 photos and displayed them at Moss Park Espresso, which is underneath the Plant Society shop here in Toronto. The title of the exhibition is Travel with Yellow, a collection of my travel photos, mostly filled with the excitement of yellow. We had an opening night on June 4th, and I'd say it was well attended, especially for some unknown like me. And if you were one of the people who came, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the exhibit. Shout out to Joe from Moss Park Espresso and Michael from the Plant Society shop for this opportunity. But yeah, I dedicated most of my free time and energy to getting that exhibit done on top of my full-time job and what I would like to call as social life. Hence the lack of YouTube content. Follow me on Instagram. I'm a little bit more active there. And if you want to see some of the photos from the trip that I've already shared so far. I am planning on creating content here about the trip though. So stay tuned. Anyways, before I start making content about the trip, I thought that for this video, I'm going to rewind the clock a little bit to before the trip. Because back in March, I finally decided to jump on the hype train and purchased a mint copy of the original Leica M6. Wow. No romantic stories here of how I got one though, sorry to disappoint. Um, I just thought that I was finally ready to get one, so I did. Now, I didn't purchase a Leica lens for my Leica M6, which some of you might think is blasphemy, but instead of buying just one Leica lens, I was able to get around three other lenses for about the same price. The Carl Zeiss Biogon T-Star 35mm f2 ZM, which has been my most used lens so far. The Carl Zeiss Planar T-Star 50mm f2 ZM, mainly because I really like the 50mm focal length and a Voigtlander Aposcopar 90mm f2.8 VM. Now I know the 35mm is a little bit close to the 50mm, but I find that the difference is actually significant enough, and right now I feel like these three lenses cover most of my bases. I went on a few photo walks prior to my trip to familiarize myself with the M6 and the lenses, and here's a few snippets from them.
bought the three lenses with me during my trip, by the way, and they've been amazing. Side note, I did purchase a vintage lens, the Jupiter 8 50 f2, which is a Leica screw mount lens that I've been adapting to use on my M6. I've only used it on a single roll so far, but I'm loving it. Maybe I'll make a video about it at some point. So, do I think the Leica M6 is worth the hype? I'd say yes. It's been my most used film camera now since buying it. I took most of the film photos from my trip using it because I brought it alongside my Fujifilm Class W and Minolta XD. And I don't really want to regurgitate whatever other people have already said about it online, but I just love it. Who knows, maybe I'm just in a honeymoon phase with it and maybe eventually I'll tire of it. But right now, no buyer's remorse here. But if you're wondering if my content will just be all about this expensive camera, no. I might feature it a lot just because I've been using it for my current photography projects, but I still got a lot of content about more affordable cameras like the Agfa Half Frame Camera, Kodak i60, Heyday Camera, and Canon Demi E17. I still enjoy playing with those cameras and I technically already have the footage and photos just waiting to be edited into a video. <laughs> I'm just really slow at churning out content because hey, I'm just a one man team here and I don't get paid enough to do this. But I hope to see you all again in the next video. Cheers.